We just got a flat. Uh, I felt it happening. I felt a lot of resistance on the front right tire and it just de-beat it, I think. On the way to a job interview too. Oh, poor, oh my, the tire's completely split. It's in two pieces. car is literally on the ground. Oh. I literally don't know where the jacket is from. The chassis is on the ground. The tire is split in half. I'm trying to jack it by the lower control arm, but it's not working very well. Fucking rim. with me we're gonna hit up one of my old uh, one of my old favorite drift spots and finish off these Achilles because they are sketchy they have so much camber wear I don't trust them on the highway anymore so we're just gonna give them a the death that they deserve at an OG drift spot these Achilles are upon their last hours now oh man the spot is gone this was such a cool spot right here, but they have it all fenced off now. This is where I used to go drifting in this little roundabout. This is where, uh, in my first street drifting video, this is where the cops showed up as we were leaving. So this spot sketches me out a little bit sometimes. Looks like nobody is here, which is excellent. That's way open. And it looks like the coast is clear. Ah. All right, here we go, first spot. This spot's a little hard without an e-brake.
let's go. <laughs> I tried to yank e-brake and I forgot it's not a hydro and I left it up. Tires have absolutely no grip left. Like they are completely cooked. loud I gotta check my tire my tire my tire oh they're chunking already they're about to pop or <laughs> oh, they're almost dead huh yeah yeah These tires are so dead, we gotta go. <laughs> I feel it vibrating bad. Do you like that 360? Yes. Does that look cool? Oh, these boys are shot. Bald. Bald. Can I do a donut around you? Now 
will get me home. These Achilles, I'm begging these Achilles to get me home. I'm not trying to do a tire change on the side of the road. They definitely feel compromised. Give me a like on this video and subscribe if you like that tip in 360 because that was freaking sick. I've never tried a tip in like that before. about cooked I'd call these about one burnout away from uh, destroying my fenders brand new kendas on these things i switched to a kenda because uh i had kendas on the 240 when i bought it and they had way better grip than the achilles and way better life uh than the achilles too so we're switching over to some 235 40s in the front and some 245 40s for the rear and i'm also going to since we're not going to be drifting this rig as much as i used to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lower this probably about half an inch or a quarter inch and I'm going to Give it a neutral toe since it's pretty towed out right now. That is probably what led to my tire blowing out on the highway But I'm gonna wash these johns up Throw them on here make this thing look good or a similar coil over uh, when you're adjusting it please make sure you put wd-40 on your lock rings my first time adjusting coilovers i didn't know about putting wd-40 on your coilovers before adjusting and these uh, wrenches were leaving like dents in my hands and bruises from how hard i was having to turn them with both hands but it is so easy to adjust them when you have them soaked in wd-40 and you've like cleaned them off with a uh, brake clean first like this is like three fingers to lower my ride height. Okay, let's hope this isn't... Ooh! Sorry. Let's hope this isn't too low. I lowered it quite a bit. Oh, still got the jack stand. Hope I can get my jack out and then my fenders survive. That's not bad. It's probably gonna sink another like quarter inch. So I think that's actually perfect. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, here we go. It is the next day. I lowered the front a little more than a quarter inch, but I might be able to get away with lowering it even more, but I don't wanna push it. It's still at a functional height. The rear is as low as I can pretty much get it. I took out the bump stops, so we're riding no bump stops in the rear. Uh, so we're gonna get a little bit of extra travel. And I also took out the lock rings on the coilovers 
So this is as low as it's gonna get in the rear. And uh, it's probably gonna settle once we drive it a little bit. So it might get even lower, but we're pushing it any lower than this. guys well here it is new low car I deleted the rear bump stops because uh, I was pretty much riding on them all the time and it was ruining the ride quality I completely I just unbolted them the rear ride quality is so much better I get so much compression I get so much more compression on the rear strut and like I thought would happen this definitely settled I got like barely a finger in there so that's perfect fitment but yeah that's about it Appreciate you guys watching, and I will see y'all later. Bye.